Hello guys, Rachel here from Archaeologist. Today, we're going to do a short unboxing and also reviewing the Sparkle Intel Arc A310 Echo and A380 Genie graphics cards. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box of the Sparkle Echo, you will find the Sparkle Intel Arc A310 Echo graphics card and the extra short bracket. For the Sparkle Genie, you will find the Sparkle Intel Arc A380 Genie graphics card and the extra short bracket. Let's go to the specifications and features. The Sparkle A310 Echo has dimensions of 156 by 69 by 15 mm. The Sparkle A380 Genie has dimensions 145 by 75 by 35 millimeters. Here are some of the technical specifications of the graphics card. So what we have here are the new low-profile cards from Sparkle. First, the Echo. The Sparkle Intel Arc A310 Echo is a low-profile card with a single fan blower type cooling. The design is straightforward with a dark blue color for the body and a blue PCB. It doesn't have any power connectors as it has a 50-watt TBP. This is really a small card and it only takes one slot. On one side, you will find the Sparkle branding and on the other side, the Intel Arc. There's no backplate provided for this card which is very common with low-end cards. For the output, it has one HDMI port and two mini display ports. It includes an extra short bracket to give the card more flexibility for your builds. For the Sparkle Intel Arc A380 Genie, it's still a low-profile card with a dual fan and a bigger heatsink than the Echo. It still has the dark blue color for the body and the blue PCB. It still doesn't have any power connectors as it has a 75W TBP. At the side, you will find the Sparkle branding and Intel Arc. Like the Echo, it doesn't have any backplates to protect the exposed PCB. It has two types of outputs, one HDMI port and two mini display ports, and this will take up dual slots on your case. With additional flexibility, it also includes a short bracket. Let's install the graphics cards.
here are my final thoughts. The A310 and A380 graphics card from Intel are the latest entry-level cards. Based on the benchmark results and comparing it to other videos I found for comparison, as I don't have any GTX cards on hand, it only performs like a 1050 Ti and 1060, which are from 2016, so I can say it is bad for gaming, but not the worst, as it performs on that level, which is from 2016. Though the features of this graphics card are great, like the AV1 encoding and decoding, with DirectX 12 support, and many more. So if you want the latest technologies, then these cards can be good options. Now let's focus on these cards as a Sparkle brand. Well, design-wise, it might not be the cup of tea for all the consumers, as a dark blue design might not be good for all builds. Yes, it has an Intel Arc-like color, and it's based on Sparkle branding. But I think Sparkle should offer more designs, like the common white or black color skips. But the overall build of the low-profile cards is good and it's not cheap to the touch. It is robust even though it's a low-profile card and perfect for small form factor builds. The temperatures are also cooler for both the blower type and the heatsick type of cooling. One bad thing I can say though is that it is really loud. Well, it's the trade-off in making a card so small that the fans are spinning faster, which makes the loud noise. Overall, the Sparkle Intel Arc A310 Echo and A380 Genie are good entry-level cards. It has a good build but has a low overall performance in gaming. But it has good features for your video needs and other features that you may like. It's still worth buying but I cannot say I will recommend it immediately as there are other good options on the market. It might be secondhand or brand new. You can buy the Sparkle Intel Arc A310 Echo and A380 Genie for another price of 6,050 pesos and 7,200 pesos respectively at your nearest Sparkle affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page and see you in the next video.